Now, this is already being used in the wild, so it's really important that you update your software as soon as possible or implement the mitigations that I'm gonna talk about in this video. Unfortunately, another zero day from Cisco. Cisco iOS and iOS XE, SNMP denial of service and remote code execution vulnerability. You need to be really careful using simple network management protocol or SNMP because stuff like this happens. So this is from the 24th of September, 2025, CVE 2025-2352, score 7.7. .7. So again, this is a vulnerability in SNMP on Cisco devices. An authenticated remote attacker with low privileges could cause a denial of service condition in affected devices that are running Cisco iOS or XE software. To cause the DDoS attack, the attacker must have the SNMP version 2C or earlier read-only community string or a valid SNMP version 3 user credential. Now this is where it becomes scary. An authenticated remote attacker with high privileges could execute code as a root user on an infected device running iOS XE software. To execute code as the root user, the attacker must have the SNMP version one or SNMP version two read only community string or a valid SNMP version three user credential and administrative or privilege 15 credentials on the affected device. That would allow an attacker to run code as a root user on the affected device. Okay, so the way they could exploit this is by sending a crafted SNMP packet to an affected device over IP version 4, IPv6. This vulnerability is due to a stack overflow condition in the SNMP subsystem of the affected software. So a successful exploit could allow a low privileged attacker to cause the affected system to reload, resulting in a DDoS condition, or allow a high privileged attacker to execute arbitrary code as the root user and obtain full control of the affected system. It affects all versions of SNMP, there is no workaround. For this vulnerability, you basically have to upgrade your software so as they say here, no workaround. However, there is a mitigation to only allow trusted users to have SNMP access on the affected system. Administrators are also advised to monitor their systems by using show SNMP host on the CLI. Okay, so I won't bore you. There is more information on Cisco's website. Be careful running SNMP. 